All right, so we're finally building the motor. You know, it's originally an LQ4 six liter. I had it bored out and stroked out, so now it's a 6.7 liter. I'm using an Eagle rotating assembly that's forged internals, forged crank, forged rods, forged pistons, file fit rings. I'm gonna show you how I did that. Mike had me clean every single little part as I put it in. Mike has been building engines for 20 years. He's an LS guru. And so here we're using the snap-on torque wrench, which is just amazing. And we plastic gauge it. See the little mark there on the rings? I mean, on the bearings, you can see. So you have a little tool that tells you exactly how wide it is. That was about 25. Between 25 and one was 0.027 or something like that, which is well within specs, which is supposed to be 25 to 30. <coughs> So you can see it's well within the spec. It was 0.25, mostly. Greasing up the mains, then we're gonna put the crank in there, put the caps on there, they all go in a certain order, they're numbered. And then you torque them down to 15 pounds each, and then you torque them with the snap-on tool. You go to, I think it was 80 degrees on the inner ones, and 51 degrees on the outer ones. I have to check, it's it's motor dependent. Here we're, we're uh, aligning and, and, and centering the, uh, the thrust bearings. There's a certain way to measure that a certain way. Mike's hitting it with a, a kind of like a rubber mallet, essentially, to kind of impact it and see. He, I didn't record that. I don't record everything because, you know, I'm just kind of new to making full videos. Yeah, so that was really nice to have that motor just turn so nice. Yeah, Mike was messing me right there, acting like the motor wasn't turning right. He's a little joker. So, Mike's attention to detail. Those, the connecting rods were in a sealed bag. Okay, so I had to take those apart, take off the bolts, clean the bolts, clean the bolt holes, clean the wrist pins, put it all back together. And by the way, these wrist pins are held in by two C-clips on both sides. So four clips, you can see them right there. There's two on the top and two on the bottom because you kind of, you know, you stagger them. Mike, that's that's my thing. Like you do, you you have it however you want it, and I'll I'll, I'll make it all work for me. You know what I mean? So on the first day, we had music playing, so I had to do voiceovers because I didn't realize that YouTube doesn't allow you to do that. So I had to kind of do a voiceover on that stuff. Plus, I thought it'd be cool to hear some of the stuff like where I was file fitting the rings. The rings on this kit, it's uh, 24, you know, 0 0.024, uh, 0 0.0024, sorry, for superchargers, turbochargers for like basically a normal build. And then for a race build, they recommend 0 0.0028. So, you know, these are, I, I set these in there. Uh, you can do whatever you feel is comfortable. Uh, if you're going to be doing like high, high horsepower, this gets rated to about 1,200 horsepower. So I could go with 28 and boost up to 1,200 horsepower. I could stay at 24 and do 750 or whatever. So now that I know how to do these, it's definitely easier. You know, the first one was a learning curve. You know, the first one I was like, God, this is gonna take me forever. But now that I've done one, the second one was a lot faster. Now the third one's even way faster, you know what I mean? The trick is that you line that up and then you put this ring over top of that so it holds that seam together or else it's a pain in the ass. There we go, this is the top right there. It says top, second groove, clock that right there. This one. Wait, is, is today Thursday? Yup, I don't even know what day it is. That's hilarious. I don't keep too I know. much track. I know, that's what's funny. I gotta go to Ocala this weekend, Saturday. What's in Ocala? A uh, buddy of mine, birthday. Oh yeah? Was he like 90? No, he's <laughs> just an old man, kind of like, he's probably 51, 52, I'm guessing. Oh, okay, he is my age then. Oh yeah? Well, I'm 49. 
These rings are stamped. There's one with an L and one with a U. So this is the L, which is the lower part of the connecting rod. And it goes right here. And the connecting rod over there, the connecting rod is the upper and this is the lower part of it. So now we're gonna clean these bolts and clean out these little threads here because, well, that's what Mike has me do. He has me clean every single thing. So let's do that and get it ready. Hey, I wanna thank you for watching so far. Here, I'm just cleaning the parts I used oven cleaner. I wanna thank everybody for subscribing to the channel. Uh, I'm going to try to upload something every week. Hopefully next week I'll have most of the motor done. Anyway, here it is, cleaning it up. Use oven cleaner, scrub it, do it all again, let it sit for about 10 minutes, scrub it again. It gets all that nastiness off. We want to put everything back in this motor. I want it to be factory perfect. All this stuff nice and clean. So it's going to get painted on the outside, but we want the inside as beautiful. Take your time, make it right. Wear a mask when you're on oven cleaners. This stuff is nasty. Makes me gag. Anyway, thanks again. Y'all have a great night. Appreciate it.